emotional when mm -hmm. a Filipino interviewer asked you about, about your dad mm -hmm. and how proud she, he will be with what you have achieved. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you walk us through to that? Kumabang uh, kwento, pero ito na lang po. Um, nung sinabi sa akin sa Osaka, siya pero easy pa, I mean, mayroon pa, it's a small festival. So parang hindi ko pa, is it the best festival for bliss? Yung parang inisip ko pa, yung why? Why Osaka kaya? And then it, it dawned on me that, oh wow, it's a significant place for my family. Because we had a, a placement agency before that sent entertainers to Japan. And my parents spent a lot of time in Tokyo and Osaka. Especially Osaka. So, and I haven't been back since I was a child. So, sabi ko, you know, nung dito palang baka yung parents ko, they're telling me, this is, because you always ask for, in my, honest, in life, I don't know. I would like to ask you. Diba, in life, you're, you question yourself, you wonder, am I on the right path? Am I still doing what I'm supposed to do? Is, is this really what's meant for me? So, you know, I, I would pray like that. I would ask questions. And sometimes I'm like, they should give me a sign. So I said, baka sign sa magulang ko. Osaka. Then, pinayagan ako ng ano, a love to last. Hala, normally hindi, straight. So, <laughs> so sakto, alis si Grace, pumunta ng Singapore. So, it, it really was perfect timing. We had tickets to Japan. It was, it, it, everything fell into place. And then, during the Q&A, tapos na yung screening namin. So, right after the screening is a Q&A. Japanese people asking questions. Okay, we're down to our last question. Sabi ganun. Pinay. Hello, Isa. I'm Filipina. Ganyan, but I'm based here in Japan. Si Neriza ang pangalan niya. And then, sabi niya, she gave some, com she complimented me on uh, on my performance, which was very gracious and kind of her. And then she linked it to, you know, we all know that in the Philippines, your father is a respected dancer and choreographer and director. Sabi niya, and then the minute she said that, kailangan ako umiiyak. Yung parang, oh my God, I can't believe somebody's asking me about my dad now, here. Yung, what? Where is this coming from? And then, sabi niya, how has he influenced you in your career? Uh, or what has he, parang what, what, has his, what has he imparted to you? Uh, so, si, siyempre naiyak ako, tapos na nakakajahe, di ba? Yung mga hapon siguro pa. Bakit? Hindi nila gets, di ba? No, so, at uh, first, I had to apologize and say, you know, I'm sorry, I'm, I got quite emotional because so I gave him a story. And then, uh, I said, um, to answer that lady's question, I just said, you know, my father always taught me to put my heart into everything that I do. To do things with sincerity and authenticity, perhaps, and passion. Uh, I try to do that. I can't say I do it all the time, but I try my best. Even with my relationships, I try. But, um, so that's what I said. And that Because that's what my father was. He was very passionate and gave his heart talaga. Put his heart into everything that he did. So, dun talaga, emotional na yun for me. Na parang, oh, dad, klaro. Naintindihan ko na dito kayo ngayon. So, it was beautiful to, to feel that. Maybe some would say, I don't care, but that's not what I believe in. So, so you know what? That's what I believe in. And, you know, sometimes, maybe it's energy, whatever it is, whatever you may call it, I accept it. It is God's will. So, and it, it, it made me feel good. So, yeah. Thank you.